Okay, so here we are. We are on chapter 15. So make sure that you have chapter 15 or lesson 15, <clears throat> the project open. And uh, this is going to talk a little bit about um, uh, composites and layering images on top of one another. And this is something that we um, we do to a certain extent if, if you work in the studio. And uh, so a lot of people who work in sports will shoot against the green screen. So, um, so if you... I know that Final Cut Pro allows you to do that, and um, I and I've worked with it before. It does it much better than it used to, but it still isn't that great. I found it better in Adobe Premiere, and uh, so let's do a quick green screen. So anytime you shoot up against a green screen, the key, the thing is, um, I mean, I remember watching Star Wars films <clears throat> eons ago when. Star Wars was first out. Um, so I'm going to open up a new sequence. And I remember they, act, they actually used to call it a blue screen. So I'm going to call this green, green clip, I guess. And um, they actually used to use blue screen. And, um, and I guess because some people started wearing more of the blue color that was closer to these screens, they decided to change it to this neon obnoxious green. So if you go into the, um, the green screen folder, you'll open up that green screen folder and you'll find the timekeeping clip. Um, so as you can see right here, timekeeping clip, this is this somebody shot up against a green screen and he's checking the time. That's interesting. Um, so let's add this MOV file to, let's put it on channel two and uh, video two, because that's going to be our, the, what's on top. So as you remember that anything that's in the upper layers are going to show up first. You think of it like as a sandwich and then, you know, you turn the sandwich on its side and, and what you see on top is what you see first. And all these things are going to be in the background unless you key it out. So keying is you're taking the colors in, in, this, in this instance and we are going to use the key to drop out this specific color. So you would hope that this person isn't going to be wearing any green here. Um, but you can also do it in um, the you can also use a luma key and that's how we use in the studio is the luma key we actually key out the um the black that way and that's why a lot of our graphics look a little funky in the studio so uh let's add i think it's in shots um if you go to shots <clears throat> we're going to add the we're adding it's a skyline I think yeah Seattle skyline let's put that Seattle skyline in the background okay so these are your background clips and you're going to extend it until the end and then um, so as you can see you 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 can't see this clip because um, you can't see the skyline clip because this one's in the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to key the, this stuff out. So um, what you'll do is if you're in the effects panel, you can also um, be working with the editing panel. I'm the in, in the effects workspace. And let's go to video effects. And obviously this is a key. And let's use Ultra Key here. So it will drag that one onto this particular clip. So it's obviously not going to do anything first. So let's go to our effects controls. And you'll see the Ultra Key has been added in there. <clears throat> and so this is the key color. So right now the key color is set to black. Let's set that to this green color. So you'll hit the eyedropper. So similar to what we had, leave color, and you'll use that. And now the key has been added. <clears throat> and 
And then you'll obviously add the, um, let's add this, it's in setting, you want to do aggressive. And that, see how that makes a little bit of a difference. Um, and of course, the amount of spill is going to make a difference. Um, so this is the amount of um, light that's coming off of the backdrop that's going to make a little bit of a difference. So um, <clears throat> this spill suppressor, um, you can make some adjustments there. But this one looks, this looks okay. And then, of course, um, I don't know if it's, let me, let me take a look at this. So he is full screen. So what we might want to do is, um, so because is the part of the green screen is only this big, we might want to crop this image a little bit. So we might want to um, maybe scale it a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make him bigger. And that looks a little bit better. So he's like checking the time. How cute. And he's in Seattle. Come on, play. Come on, play. I don't know why it's not playing. So anyway, I don't know why it's not, it's not playing in real time. So anyway, <clears throat> there it goes. It's just having a little bit of an issue. So anyway, so you would render that and then you would have your green screen.